Mihir Dengue is a seasoned business and tech executive with a career spanning over two decades in transportation and financial industries. And he's currently serving as the CEO of XCF Global Capital. So Mihir, great, great to have you here. And thank you, thank you for having me. I know you recently announced your intention, uh, your intention to go public uh, with the NASDAQ, a SPAC, um, with Focus Impact BH3 Acquisition Corp. Correct. So tell us a little bit more about the company and this uh, intention to go public. Sure. Uh, so we've had the pleasure of building this business for some time, and we felt like we were ready for a public market strategy, especially because we're in sustainable aviation fuel and infrastructure. And in particular, right now, the timing is such where it makes a lot of sense to be pushing kind of the dynamics of sustainable aviation fuel as the supply demand imbalances is, is uh, highly favored towards producers. Uh, we had the opportunity to work with several different parties and we were introduced to Focus Impact BH3. Mm -hmm. uh, very impressive group. Both uh, founders are pr a previous private equity um, backgrounds and they focus on a double bottom approach. Carl Stanton is previously from Invesco and Ray Thorne from uh, Two Sigma's Impact Fund. Mm -hmm. And for us, it was really important that we had somebody who shared this vision of being able to work on sustainability, work on improving our planet, but still focused on revenues and EBITDA uh, and a growth strategy. So it's been great. Now explain a little bit about uh, the sustainable aviation fuel market. Um, what's your unique value proposition? How competitive is it out there? Uh, great question. Mm -hmm. Sustainable aviation fuel itself is a drop-in synthetic kerosene what happens right now is we, we take jet fuel. It's a petroleum-based product. The idea is to move off of petroleum-based products into decarbonizing the planet. And um, we've done that in several areas before, everything from solar power to electric vehicles. And now we're pushing on the aviation front with sustainable aviation fuel. What that means is we take, um, we use HEFA-based technology. What it means is we take a fat, an oil or a grease, we take it into our plant, we purify it, and then we clean, we basically purify it and then treat it. And in that process, we create a sustainable fuel that is synthetically based that can go into a wing and reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 80%. Okay, now would this be for an, like a 777? Um, and it sounds like it would be combined with petroleum based, right? It's just reducing the amount of petroleum used. That's exactly right. right. Okay, uh, what are the current challenges in the aviation industry in <sighs> terms of becoming more renewable? Well, the, the first challenge is that there's this need to decarb right and that we need to reduce co2 emissions and the aviation industry is by far uh other than tr like trucking and transport the next biggest industry that we are focused on mm -hmm. and we have made a lot of progress in some of these other industries but we haven't in the aviation industry so uh the real challenge is finding supply right there is not enough sustainable aviation fuel out there right now to support the industry at the, you're finding mandates out there from European Union to the UK, mandating 10% SAF usage by 2030. And then domestically, you have a grand challenge set forth by the government for also 10% by 2030. Here is voluntary, there is mandated. Okay. We think that it'll migrate to, to a mandatory thing. That, re that requirement is 6 billion gallons over five years and then it's gonna be 40 billion gallons over uh, 25 years. And I think last year production was somewhere around 100 million gallons. So the ramp up is gonna be dramatic. Where can it come from? Oh, well, that, that's, that's, <laughs> that's where- That's we're trying to figure out, huh? That's okay. where XCF, you know, that's why we're Got here. Uh, you know, we're, we're enthused at the opportunity. We're gonna be able to bring in um, sustainable aviation fuel infrastructure online. We have our first facility in Reno, Nevada, and then we have subsequent facilities around the country that we think brings up to about 155 million gallons over the next three or four years. Okay, what could be the potential market size of this? I mean, the market size is, is, is as big as you want it to be, as right? As big as the petrol, I guess yeah. the aviation yeah, so additional at, fuel would be. That's exactly mm -hmm. right. So at the aviation level, we use about 100 billion gallons of uh, jet fuel per year. And then 
we need to migrate at least 30 or 40 percent of it at some point. So that market is going to be massive. And we plan on trying to step into that market as potentially a market leader. But ultimately, we just want to do our job in sustainability. right? We think that we can help on, on two approach. right? The focus impact method is double bottom. We believe in that same concept. right? We can help the planet. And we can also help in bringing more and more infrastructure and more and more gallons on. And that's how we can help. Okay, and, and you talked a little bit about the plant in Nevada and things. I mean, how are, are there any other expansion plans, or does that depend on kind of how quickly you can bring this renewable fuel online? So uh, I think the beauty of what we're doing right now is we have our first facility, which will get production in about four to six months. That'll bring on 38 million gallons. So immediately we'll have a, a good amount of impact into uh, the current kind of economics of what's happening domestically. We also have procured three additional sites, one adjacent to the existing site and then two other sites in North Carolina and in Florida. And the idea is to bring those on in um, Reno, the other Reno facility in two years and then the other ones in about three, three and a half years, which it can bring on 155 million gallons. Now, the idea is not to stop there, right? The idea is that is just our starting point and that there are a lot of opportunities because this market is going to continue to grow sure. to, to be able to, you know, mm -hmm. to, to, to do what we need to do. Are there partnerships with other businesses, governments, things like that that can help you move this along faster? Absolutely. I mean, this is, you're finding a lot of this driven from the government level from the aviation level and then from the infrastructure level. And what I mean there is at the government level, you have mandates and infrastructure, infrastructure dollars that are going to help support the cause. At the aviation level, domestically, you're finding that there's, uh, they, there's this voluntary commitment that they've all signed up to. You, you can see it in all their you know, 8Ks, the 10Ks. And now they're committed to it. So, and, and, then, and then abroad, now there's a mandate, right? So you're gonna see the growth of this market explode over the next three, four, or five years. And I think where we'll sit is at the cross section of having a proven technology that can come online and um, you know, growing our, our base. Yeah, well, Mayor, thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you keep us up to date as you expand. Absolutely. And go through the whole IPO process as really well. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much.